Hi, everybody. Welcome back. We are getting ready to read our story today, and I'm excited because this one was a favorite of my kids when they were about your age. So I'm excited to read it. It is called The Three Snow Bears by Jan Brett. If these pictures look kind of familiar to you, Jan Brett is the same lady who drew the pictures in the book we read yesterday called The Mitten. If you didn't watch it yet, you can see it. There's a video of it um, also on YouTube. So The Three Snow Bears, this book is going to sound, the story's going to sound a little familiar to you. It might remind you of another story. Jan Brett, who wrote this book, she kind of borrowed from another story that's going to be familiar to you. See if you can figure it out. So we start here with pictures of all kinds of different animals. Um, they're building igloos, which is a special kind of house made out of blocks of snow. They're pushing sleds. Uh, looks like they're digging, they're building things. What a busy place. But the first page gives us a clue to something um, that's happening at the beginning of the story. There's a little girl. What is she doing in that little hole in the ice? Can you figure it out? She's got a string and it's hanging down and there's a hole in the ice. If you said she's fishing, you're right. She made a hole in the ice and she put a string down there or a fishing line and she's trying to catch fish. But what's happening to her doggies? They're on a piece of ice that's floating away. Oh no. That's where the story starts. Come back, Aloki shouted as her huskies floated out to sea. Huskies are a kind of a dog. Oh no, she knew that although an ice flow is a good place to fish, it is a bad place to lose your dog team. Not far away, a snow bear family had just started to eat their breakfast, but it was way too hot for baby bear. Baby bear's little tongue is sticking out there going, ah, too hot. Ah, we yelled baby bear, my breakfast burned my mouth. We'll go for a stroll and let the soup cool, Mama Bear said. Now you can look at this picture. Take a look. Do you think it's warm or cold where this story is taking place? Take a good look. What can you tell from the pictures? Is it warm or cold? If you said cold, you might have noticed some of the things that uh, are in the picture. They're wearing sweaters and warm clothes. Uh, they're wearing a hat. There's snow on the ground. All those things are clues to me that this story is taking place where it's cold. Also, these are polar bears and polar bears live where it's cold. So that's a clue too. Aluki was running along looking for her dogs when she came upon the biggest igloo she had ever seen. Who lives here, she wondered. Oh dear. Aloki ducked inside. Right away, she smelled something delicious. Across the room, she saw a big bowl, a medium-sized bowl, and a small bowl. Surely the good smells were coming from the three bowls. Uh-oh, Aloki. Aloki took a sip from the biggest bowl. Ow, she cried, too hot. She took a sip from the middle-sized bowl. Ew, too cold. She tipped up the littlest bowl and drank every drop. Mmm, she said, not too hot and not too cold. Oh, Aloki, I think she ate the baby bear's breakfast. Oh, no. In the next room, Aloki spotted three pairs of beautiful boots standing in a row. She put on the biggest boot. Too big, she said. She put on the middle-sized boot. Too fancy, she said. Ooh, those do look fancy. She put on the littlest pair just right, she said, wriggling her toes 
in the soft fur lining. <gasps> Aloe Key is putting on the baby bear's boots. Oh, I'm starting to worry about what's going to happen to her. Aloe Key walked into the last room and found a long sleeping bench piled high with fur covers. Heat from an oil lamp warmed her cheeks and made her sleepy. Time for a nap, she thought. Ooh, what a good idea. She crawled under the highest mound of covers. Too lumpy, she grumbled. She tried the middle bed with the furry fringe cover, but sank down so far she could hardly breathe. Too soft, she said. She rolled over into the smallest sleeping place. The furry blanket was cozy and warm and the pillow was just her size. Just right, Aloki murmured, and she was asleep before she could take her boots off. Uh-oh, whose spot do you think that was? The littlest sleeping place? Was that baby bear's spot? It might be. Uh-oh. If Aloe Key hadn't fallen fast asleep, she might have heard her dogs barking happily. <gasps> look, look what's happening over here. Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear had spotted them adrift in the strong current and had gone out to save them. <gasps> they saw, the bears saw the doggies floating away and so they swam out to try and save them. The Snow Bear family was pushing Aloe Key's dog team back toward their igloo and safety. So the bears saw the doggies floating away on the ice. They swam out and were pushing them back home. Oh, what nice bears. Papa Bear crawled into the igloo, uh-oh, and saw his big bowl sitting in a pool of spilled soup. Someone has been tasting my soup, he roared. Mama Bear rushed in and saw that her soup had been sloshed around too. Someone has been sipping my soup, she growled. Someone found my soup, sputtered Baby Bear in her high squeaky voice, and they ate it all up. Oh dear, there's Baby Bear looking into her bowl. There's not a drop left. Papa Bear ran into the next room and saw his boots in the middle of the floor. Someone has been trying on my boots, he boomed in his big bear voice. Mama Bear put on her fancy boots. Someone has had these boots on, she huffed, Whew. and the fur is all bunched up. Baby Bear saw that her boots had disappeared. Someone has taken my boots and left behind these not as good ones, she wailed. Oh dear, I think Aloe Key is still wearing the boots. Oh no, Aloe Key is still fast asleep. The bears ran into their bedroom. Someone has been sleeping in my bed, Papa Bear bellowed. Someone has been sleeping in my bed too, Mama Bear cried. Baby Bear peeked at her little bed and squeaked. Someone has been sleeping in my bed and there she is. Oh dear, I'm almost afraid to turn the page. What do you think is going to happen? Aluki opened her eyes and saw three bear noses just inches away. Oh no! Do you think she was scared or surprised or happy or mad? And she was probably scared and surprised. I don't think she was happy. She hopped out of the bed and dove between Papa Bear's huge furry legs. Run, Aloki, run! Quicker than a seal, Aloki ran from room to room until she burst outside. Her huskies, her dogs, bounced around barking and smiling their doggy grins. Aloki and her dogs flew over the frozen ice, dodging ridges and cracks. She looked back to wave a thank you to the snow bears. 
She couldn't see them, but she heard a big gruff voice, a middle-sized voice, and a high squeaky voice calling to her. Bye-bye. 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 Oh, a happy ending. It sounds like she was safe and the dogs were safe and the bears were okay. Hey, do you think this story was real or make-believe? Think about it for a minute. Do you think this really happened? Did this really happen? Or was it a make-believe story? If you said make-believe, you are probably right. Do bears wear sweaters and talk to each other? Mm, not really. I think this was a make-believe story. Also, it probably reminded you of another story. Can you think of what it is? If you said Goldilocks and the Three Bears, you are right. That's the story that Jan Brett used to make this story, The Three Snow Bears. Well, I hope you like the book. I know my kids used to really like this one. So, uh, our video is getting kind of long, so I'm going to say bye, and we'll see you later for a Bible story and a um, art project.